Catalyst is a six-week um, residential program. Um, sorry, Catalyst is a six-week alcohol rehabilitation program. It's a pilot program. It's funded by the Department of Human Services, and it is a medium intensity service. So, what that actually means is it sits in between individual counselling services and residential rehabs. Um, so in terms of structure and intensity, it is very much like a residential program, but it's uh, not a living program, so very much the opposite of how I started out. Um, it, it focuses on the post-withdrawal period of recovery, so what that means is that's a really vulnerable time in terms of um, increased rates of relapse, and so the program is about very much providing an infusion of support in that time of vulnerability. The program is brief enough and it's flexible enough to work around people's life roles. So really, realistically, what it means is that people can take annual leave and complete this program. It also means that for people who have care responsibilities and other life responsibilities, um, more, flex more flexible options um, compared to programs of comparable intensity like residential rehabs. And again, compared to uh, intensive programs, it offers um, a lot more integrated learning in people's real world settings. So this is something that uh, participants often comment on, the benefits of uh, in their learning in their real world. The best thing about this place is that you get to practice what you've learned at the end of each day when you go home. Then you come back, discuss it in the group the next day, you go home, you try again. It's the best way to learn. And so it's this non-residential component of the program which appears to be meeting an unmet need in the current mix of service types um, and settings in the AOD sector. The model has been jointly developed by clinical services and our training and education team and that this cross-collaborative approach has been uh, fundamental to the success of the program and so has the support of our senior management team who have been very integrally involved in this program from the outset. In a nutshell, um, Catalyst works. It's, um, it's, ba it's based on an extensive literature review of effective treatment interventions for people with alcohol dependencies and specifically we also looked at data for community-based programs. Um, it is subject to an external evaluation conducted by Karanish and that is underpinned by an action uh, research uh, component. So what that means is that consumer feedback, staff feedback has been this continuous loop into the design and delivery of the program. The evaluation data is out and it's now telling us that we're getting some really great outcomes that we're proud of and we're also proud that earlier this year we won an award for in the National Drug and Alcohol Awards for Excellence in Treatment and we're now a finalist in the Victorian Healthcare Awards in Innovative uh, Services for Comorbid AOD and Mental Health Services. It is a three year project, it commenced in June 2009 and it's coming to term next June. So who can join in? It's, it's, it's essentially for people who have an alcohol dependency. It doesn't <coughs> exclude any people who um, use other substances. Um, but, the, and, but, but the main thing does need to be a commitment to abstinence for the duration of the program, even if people's longer term goals is controlled use in the future. It is a statewide catchment area for people over 18 years of age. Um, proficiency in English, reading and writing is important. There's a lot of written, written materials. Stability around mental state, housing is important. Um, and some degree of cognitive impairment is okay, but not uh, too severe. In terms of uh, client demographics and who's coming to the service. Most of the people are from the northwestern region, um, probably at least 70%. Um, and, and whilst it makes sense that people need to reside within close proximity of the service for it to be accessible, um, Catalyst does have a statewide catchment area, so that is an issue which has been identified by service providers as part of the evaluation, and in fact their feedback was generally that um, the program has been well received within the AOD sector and their main criticism was that it wasn't available in more locations, um, that the wait time, which could be six weeks, was too long for some clients. So 
good um, outcomes, but it's t telling us something about accessibility. Um, in terms of demographics, it's not dissimilar to what you would expect for the general AOD population, uh, save for the fact that we're not seeing younger people. The average age is 45. The gender mix is um, 40 to 60 female-male ratio. Um, in terms of comorbidity, uh, polysubstance use sits at 40%. That's predominantly cannabis use and tobacco. And 67% of our clients have a diagnosed mental health issue, and that's along the uh, high prevalence spectrum. So what do we do? Uh, it's a highly structured program. It's comprised of individual and group activities. 70% of our program activities are based on cognitive behavioural motivational enhancement therapy. The structure is, it's really balanced and quite holistic in, fo in focus. We offer quite a range of psychoeducational groups, recreational social activities, from relapse prevention, mood management, all the way to finance, nutrition, gym, yoga, that kind of thing. Um, Two of our groups are dedicated to strengthening relationships. So that's where families and significant others are uh, invited to participate in the program. We're getting lots of great feedback from consumers and families around the changes that this is making to uh, home, people's home lives. There's um, better communication, less fighting, more quality time together. People remember conversations and, um, and more attentive to children. So if you think about that 20% of our client group actually have children residing in their household. In terms of preventative outcomes, this is really quite an unexpected beneficial effect as well. Um, and for us as workers, we really love going to those groups there because our strengthening family relationships sit in the middle of the program, week three, week four. And by that stage, there's a lot of change in the clients. We see that, families see that, they feed that back to the clients and it's really moving to you know, watch them uh, receive that feedback and that in turn becomes ongoing motivation for change. Working in collaboration with clients and other service providers is an integral part of how we work. We don't exist in a vacuum and so it's very encouraging for us that at discharge 40% of our clients are taking up additional services. And following completion of the program, participants have the option to participate in an aftercare support group called Momentum. And basically it's a, a regular group, happens every Wednesday night. People can come and go for as, as long as it's uh, useful and relevant to them. And we, we generally have a core uh, participant the number of people, about 20 people come at any given time. They're either regular or sporadic attendants. The people from Momentum are now playing mentoring roles to um, new participants and um, it, they, they basically come at different parts of the program at the start and at the end and they talk about their experience, um, they answer questions, they're there to respond to anxieties which are really quite prominent at the start and at the end and the feedback about that is great. Was, one participant was talking about how one of the mentors was light at the end of the tunnel. His enthusiasm inspired all of us. And for us as well, when we think about some of our momentum clients who've been there for a couple of years, it's, been, it's really wonderful to see the change in them. I'm thinking of someone who's been there for over two years, long-term abstinent, um, very meek, quiet, mild when he first attended. Um, and now we just see a, a, a lot of growth. He's more socially confident, he's attending um, lots, lots of functions, he goes up to people, he's... Um, completed horticulture course, got a casual job at Bunnings, he's negotiated a full-time contract, and two weeks ago he was telling, ta uh, telling um, staff there's a very good active listener. So if we have a look at um, what kind of outcomes are we achieving, we've had 191 clients come through the program in the first two years of operation, and um, at discharge, and, and we're looking at a sample size of 93 people who participated in the evaluation, 68% had maintained abstinence from alcohol for the duration of the program. The balance had lapsed but were abstinent at discharge. 96% had reported improvements in, uh, in mental health, um, their mood, and 30% who were using comorbid substances had ceased. So it's pretty amazing as well as lots of general, quite significant changes in terms of um, alcohol-related risks, 
um, confidence in managing cravings and general health and wellbeing. At six month follow up, and it's a small sample of 24, 70% were abstinent. So that's pretty amazing. So what the data is telling us is that people are achieving sustained change over a long period of time, and that it's affecting not just their alcohol use, but their general psychosocial functioning. Participants widely comment on changes to routines and so socialisation. Um, a lot of the clients that come to our group are really isolated. I mean, boredom, depression is an issue. So the structure just um, is, is, is amazing. So at first it's overwhelming, but you know, it gets me out of the house. It's a reason to get up every day. Um, and then they get used to it. And then they become fearful about leaving the program. So a lot of work goes into creating their routines when they leave. I like the social aspect. I enjoy seeing these people every day. We all have similar issues and we're working on them together. So there's recurrent um, references to um, people feeling safe in the group. They talk about group cohesion. Um, group discussion has been highly valued components of the program. There's an increase in exercise, nutrition. People are eating better. We see them looking better. They, they change, you know, they get haircuts and um, come out with a nice clothes. There's lots of good references around uh, finance management, very popular. And our uh, counsellor, finance counsellor, is very passionate about the fact of looking about finance as a relapse prevention uh, intervention. If you've got debts looming over your head and you go to the mailbox, that's, that's a trigger for use. In terms of research studies, um, the it comparables uh, programs overseas, non-residential programs, have completion rates of 23 to 46 percent, and for Catalyst, it was a staggering 63 percent. So that was amazing, and I'm particularly thrilled about the fact that our clients are actually talking the talk. They're using language like, you know, we're using I statements, activity schedules, our ABCs. And six months down the track, they're still using the language, they're integrating these skills. So that, that tells me that, you know, the program content has become embedded in their day-to-day -day lives. So in short, the Catalyst program is brief, but it seems to be very effective. Um, there's, you know, lots of data emerging now providing quite a persuasive uh, argument, hopefully, for the refunding of this program and the expansion. Um, and if you think about the infrastructure involved in this sort of program compared to a residential program and staffing needs, it's, it's a lot cheaper to run. And I'd like to end with a client quote. This is someone who's reflecting on his experience with family who said that it was getting to the stage where family and friends wouldn't come over if I was there. And now, I can't get rid of the buggers. <laughs> Thank you.